So what is a soft glam makeup look? A soft glam makeup look is essentially a sophisticated, really natural makeup look, which enhances your beauty, but doesn't do the most. So if you are looking for that look that you can wear at any occasion, a soft glam makeup look is it. And if I would recommend anything to anyone is to learn how to do a soft glam makeup look. So if you are interested in a step-by-step -step guide on how to achieve a polished and sophisticated look like this one here, then just continue to watch. All right guys, so let's get right into this soft glam. I feel like soft glams for me are like one of my favorite looks to do just because I love a full face, but I, I love when it, it just looks natural. Yes, I have makeup on, but it doesn't look overwhelming. It's really natural, soft, and subtle. So let me get into the first product. I think the most important thing for a soft glam is your skin. You wanna make sure your skin is like top tier before even going in with any product. Before this, I I spent like an hour just making sure I got rid of that extra hair and stubbles on my face. I cleaned up my brows. If I could advise anyone to do that, I would recommend doing that first. So now I'm just gonna be going in with some serum. So this is the Essence Hello Good Stuff Pore Minimizing Serum. I love using this cause it just honestly shrinks all my pores and honestly the finishing look of my makeup is always really nice when I use this. So I'm gonna use this and really focus it in my T-zone area. And this has such a beautiful scent. It's pomegranate and it has niacinamide. So niacinamide is really good for texture. So if you want something that is going to work on your skin texture and just allow you to have a really smooth canvas, anything with niacinamide is a go. All right, so you wanna make sure your skincare really sinks into your skin. So I would advise waiting about two to three minutes. While that sinks into my skin and before I go in with my primer, I'm actually gonna move on to my brow. All right, so for my brows, I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Brow Lift. This has been my go-to. You guys could see how much I've been using. So I'm just gonna take a spoolie and really just shape my brows in place with this gel. And I love this gel because it stays throughout the day. It's really affordable as well. So I like to literally just stick my brows down they need to be flat no hair should be sticking out so I like using my spoolie and just kind of pressing it into my skin just like this and then once I do that I kind of just use my spoolie and shape it in place just like that. So you can see compared to the other side, this side is a little bit more tamed and in place. So a bit of the gel does end up like staying on the skin. So I like to go in with some micellar water and just a clean pad and just clean up all of that extra product. Now, sometimes I actually just leave the house like this, especially if my brows are tamed like today. Other times I will go in with a brow pencil. So I'm gonna go in quickly with a brow pencil. This is the LA Girl Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. And all I do with my brow pencil is just fill in any of the sparse areas giving it that extra coverage just making sure that everything is filled in all right so that is literally it for brows now we can move on to our complexion again so i'm going to be using the annabelle perfect fit mattifying primer i do get oily in my t-zone and i like using a primer specifically in my t-zone just because it helps to control the extra oils that come on my face throughout the day and this is a silicone based primer i feel like with silicone based primers they allow the makeup to really glide on your skin and just give a really flawless smooth complexion afterwards so if you are an oily skin girl silicone primers that are mattifying are it and then whatever excess i just put on the outer perimeter Okay, so we want this to sink and settle into our skin as well. So while that's doing that, we're gonna move on to the eyes. And the order that I'm doing my makeup is an order that I recommend to do. So when it comes to the eyes, I always recommend doing your eyes first, especially if you are a beginner, because when you do your eyes first, you can avoid fallout onto your makeup. So I always recommend going in with your eyeshadow first and then move to your complexion later on. So I'm gonna be using my Black Radiance True Complexion Concealer and we're just going to prime the eyelids and in the same time I'm also going to shape up my brows as well so for brows you want to make sure you're going in with a flat brush this just allows you to really get in the areas that you need to to really shape your brows in place 
Okay, so let's move on to the eyeshadow. For eyeshadow, when it comes to a soft glam, we do the same as our skin. We want something that's really soft and subtle on our eyes. So for example, this is actually the picture that I'm going off of. A very subtle eyeshadow look, not doing too much. We have a pop of shimmer on the lid. So very soft and soft focused eyeshadow look. So for today's eyeshadow look, I will be going in with my Catrice Basic Bay. Basic eyeshadow says it all for the name of the product. Product. and we're just going to do something really simple so for this look you will need three basic eyeshadow brushes so you will need a fluffy blending brush you will need a crease brush it's a bit more tapered and pointed towards the tip to get into your crease and you will need a flat brush you literally need three brushes to complete this eyeshadow look so I'm gonna go in with the first shade your first shade is always a skin tone shade so I like to go in with anything that's orange based so in this eyeshadow palette we're gonna go in with this one the shade is called MOTD, Makeup of the Day. I'm gonna dust off the excess and we're gonna use this as the transition color. So I like to pack on the eyeshadow first and then start blending out. So once I have the desired amount on, I start to go in with circular motions to diffuse it on my eyelids. And then if I have to, I start adding back just to get the intensity going and then continue blending out. I do have a whole bunch of eyeshadow tutorials on my channel. So if you are new to my channel and just checking that out, you guys need to check those videos out because I go really in depth on how to do a basic eyeshadow look. So now that I have the transition shade on, we are moving on to the crease color. So your crease color is always a deeper shade. So in this palette, I'm actually going to be going in with this shade here. This one is called MCM Man Crush Mondays. Who remembers that? I remember on Instagram we used to have Man Crush Mondays. It was a thing back then. But anyway, so I'm gonna dip into that shade and use the more tapered brush. When I mean tapered, tapered means it's more, I guess, tapered together, pointed towards the tip so that you're able to get into that crease. So again, I like to start by packing on the product first and really putting it in the area that I want it to show. And then now I'm gonna go back in with my blending brush which is the first brush I use and we're going to diffuse that harsh line I don't have any product on this so this is going to do all the work for me and diffuse that line of demarcation so that both colors are blending into each other and then I do want to add a bit more intensity so I'm just gonna add a bit more and then again blend it out now we're gonna move on to the lid shade and for the lid shade, you're taking a flat brush like this. For my lid shade, I'm going to go in with this gold shade here, which is called Twinning. And this is what we're applying all over the open space of our lid. Ooh, this one is really pigmented. And I like to follow my natural crease. I'm gonna go back in with that crease brush and just make sure everything is blended. And that's pretty much it for this eyeshadow look. Really straightforward, very simple. This is what we mean when we say soft glam, just a really soft and subtle eyeshadow look. So for a soft glam, we try to avoid doing like a cat eye or just using really harsh eyeliners. So I am gonna be going in with the e.l.f. No Budge Retractable Eyeliner. And I'm just gonna use this to do a really thin line across my lash line and we're not doing a wing we're just literally doing nice a nice smudged line across the lash line at this point you can now move on to applying your mascara or lashes in my case I do want to go in with some lashes I'm gonna take my Ardell lashes I've already worn these but these are just really basic wispies I believe it's the demi wispies so we're gonna pop these on all right so one eye is pretty much done so I'm gonna quickly do my other eye off camera and then we could move on to the complexion my favorite part so my eyes are done brows are done we can finally move on to the complexion so when it comes to the complexion you want to aim for soft focus like really really soft something that's not doing too much you don't want it to look too harsh you want it to just come across as it's still your skin so I'm gonna go in with some foundation today's foundation is the Revlon color stay longwear foundation this is in the combination oily formula so we're gonna put some on the back of the hand and I feel like putting it on the back of the hand lets you can Control how much you're actually putting on your face. I'm actually gonna be going in with the Merit Beauty Complexion Stick as well. And we're just gonna focus on applying this on the outer perimeter of the face. So again, putting it on the back of the hand really 
just allows me to control the amount I'm putting on. For a soft glam, you wanna really just focus on less. And then with the excess product, I like to go over my nose area. Okay, so this is what my complexion is looking like. We avoided the under eye because that's gonna be reserved for our concealer later, but you just wanna make sure that your foundation for one matches and two, you're going in with a reasonable amount of products. You want you don't wanna overdo it for a soft glam look. So let's move on to concealer. Concealer of choice today is the Rimmel Multitasker Concealer. This is in the shade Mocha and I'm gonna be using this to highlight. So I like to just focus the concealer in the inner corner and the outer area here and then we're going to let it sit for a while especially if we want that full coverage and then once it sits for a bit you can then go in with blending it out all right so when you blend it out you want to start with the outer edges first so I like to start with blending out and then I work my way in. And then for the sides of the nose, you want to just bring it slightly up on the sides. This is going to act as your nose contour. So I do want a bit more coverage underneath my eyes. So I'll go in with one more layer. This time I'm just going to really focus it underneath the eye. All right, so now you wanna move on to just the other areas you would highlight. So your forehead down the bridge of your nose, your cupid's bow and your chin. So I'm going to be going in with my Merit Beauty complexion brush and just blending out the edges. You don't want any harsh lines. Everything should look really blended and seamless. All right, so for a soft glam look, blush is like one of the major things when it comes to a soft glam. So I'm gonna be using some liquid blush today. This is the Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush. So I'm gonna start off by putting some on the back of my hand and then using my blush brush, we're just gonna dip into that shade, really warm it up on the back of our hands and just apply it to the cheeks. This is just going to give a really nice flush of color to the skin. Just like that. All right, so once we have all of our cream products on our skin and just out of the way, you want to go in with some powder. So for today's powder, I'm going to be using the Black Radiance True Complexion Setting Powder. This is in the shade Honeymoon. And then I'm going to be using this powder puff. This one I honestly got on Amazon for like five bucks. It comes with five of them in a pack. So they're very affordable. If you are someone who still uses a beauty sponge you can use that as well to set so i'm going to go in with the powder on my sponge and really just set all of my concealer in place before i set i like to just make sure that the creases are blended out you never want to set your creases so all we're doing is just ensuring that this makeup is going to stay put on our skin throughout the day. All right, so I wanna add some of my natural contours back to my skin. So I'm gonna be using my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. I'm gonna go in with the contour shade in this palette. I love this shade, it's like my perfect shade. Like, you, I cannot go wrong with this shade. So I'm just gonna use this to honestly contour my skin. So just my cheekbones here, my forehead, my jaw lines, and down the bridge of my nose. And then with a small shader brush, I'm gonna take that same contour powder and just contour my nose. For my nose contour, I just go in with my powder puff. I don't put any product on it, but I just kind of go over that contour so that it, uh, the line is not too harsh. And then for blush, liquid blush tends to kind of disappear throughout the day if you don't set it with a powder blush. So I'm gonna go in with some powder blush. This is the Ramel Maxi Blush in the shade Wild Card. And I love this shade. This is Screaming Soft Glam. I'm just gonna go over. Okay, so our complexion is pretty much done. I'm gonna move back on to the eyes. So we weren't done with the eyes. We need to really bring the eye look together. So for the waterline, I'm gonna go in with the same e.l.f. No Budge Retractable Eyeliner and just apply this to my waterline. And then for the eyeshadow for the bottom portion of our eyes, you wanna go in with a pencil shader brush. So a pencil shader brush is pretty much shaped like a pencil, so it's pointed. This is just gonna allow you to place that eyeshadow directly underneath your lash line. So I'm gonna go into my crease color. So that was the second shade that I used. And we're gonna use this to just shade underneath our 
lash line. All right, and then for mascara, you wanna just apply it to your bottom lashes. This is just going to bring the whole look together. You guys see how that brought the eye look together? These little simple steps that we did to complete the eye really just completed the eye look. Definitely don't wanna miss those little things to do to complete the look. So we're pretty much almost done. We can move on to the lips. Now for your lips, you wanna go in with a nude, a nude gloss lip scream soft glam so that's what i'm going to be doing today i like to line my lips with a nice brown lip liner so i'm going to be going in with i believe it's the la girl i've been sharpening it so much that i don't even know what brand it is but i believe it's the la girl lip liner in dark brown and i'm just going to use this to line my lips all right, so lipstick of choice today is the e.l.f. Liquid Matte. This is in the shade T-Rose. And this is like the perfect nude mauve. Love this, love this, love this. I love pairing it with a nice gloss afterwards as well. So of course you could wear it matte. I like to go in with a gloss on top, especially a nice pink gloss. So for gloss, I'm going in with my CoverGirl Yummy Gloss. This is in the shade Daylight Pink. All right, and then of course, to set all of this in place, we need to set it with a setting spray. So I'm gonna be using the Essence Fix and Last 18 Hour Makeup Setting Spray. This is a mattifying effect setting spray. So if you are someone who has oily skin, you would love this. All right guys, so that completes this detailed soft glam makeup tutorial. I hope I was very in depth with how to achieve a soft glam look like this. Like I said in my intro, a soft glam could be used for virtually any type of occasion so i hope you guys enjoyed if you are new to my channel please be sure to subscribe also leave your comments in the comment section below and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys